So I went up to football last night. Stayed over, and before I head back to Cardiff, I want to try out some of the charity shops in some of the local villages nearby. See what we can find. Have a look at what's hanging up on this door here. Baby B1. It's one of those baby carriers you put over your shoulders, but baby sits on the front. Eight quid. Solds pre owned look pretty good, and there's lots out of sold as well. Good sell through rate. We'll get it. And along the same theme, have a look at this. This is one to look out for for sure. Ergo Baby. Four position, 360 cool air. Sold listings on these are absolutely crazy. I only got this for three quid as well because it is a bit grubby. But it looks all complete. All the buttons are there. Yeah, it has been used. There are a few stains. But I'll run this through the washing machine a few times, see if I can bring it up. But even in this condition, three quid, there should be plenty of profit in that. Back in the day, right, that charity shop down there, that used to be an old video shop. Used to come down here, rent computer games, rent PlayStation games, rent movies. God, that was a throwback. And there, that used to be arcades in there. Absolute state of it now. Nice pair of New Balance shoes up here. New Balance running 607 V2. Look in decent condition. Size six and a half for a fiver. Last solds on these, size six went for about 30. I've started to check the front of shoes more carefully. So many I've picked up recently, this bit is gone. These look okay though. Yeah, we'll get them. What's that tucked in there? VTech Little Smart Phonics. It's pretty old, eh? Three quid. Solds on this vary from five plus post to 15 plus post. Lots listed. Not many sold. Leave that there. Look who's having a little sleep in here. That's one of the Bluetooth Furbies. No signs of battery leakage in the fur. That's a good sign. Two quid? Yeah, we'll get him. Am I gonna look through all of those bags? Absolutely. And have a look at this here. It's a bag of Britain's animals. Complete mixture. Three quid. They don't look in the best condition, but it's the perfect thing. You just stick as a big job lot and see how they get on. A couple of Lego Duplo base plates tucked around the corner here. Green one and a red one. Pound 50. Pound 50. Yep, we'll get them. What's on the bottom shelf down here? A pair of Timberland Earth Keepers. So like seven and a half, four pound 50. They are looking a bit worn on the bottom, but there's still a fair bit of life left in them. Looking a bit tired, aren't they? But for 4 50 I'll give them a brush up, see if I can get them looking a bit better. Yeah, we'll get them. Look at that coconut over there. Tocker Platinum for PlayStation 1. It is two quid, but this would have been exactly the type of game I would have rented from here back in the day. No manual, doesn't matter. I want it for the collection. Couple of charity shops in Minch. It's an old school frustration up there. Four quid. Let's see if all the bits are in here. Four yellows, four blues, four reds, four greens. Dice works. Let's get it. Look at that, just in the window there. Systema Meteor. Have a closer look at that inside. Hang on. Children's shoes. New balance. 574. Only 350. 
Yep, get them. Let's have a look at this. Electronic chess set. That's 20 quid. Sold 10 to 20. I'm not even going to look at it. Let's put that back. Have a look at these two vehicles here. Both of them are by Dinky. Dinky Toys UFO Interceptor. This one's called Shadow. Should come with a big white missile in the front. And if I add that missile, sold are absolutely crazy on it. The condition's really good. The paintwork's decent. Spring mechanism works well. 10 quid. Last one sold in worse condition for that for about 20. So we'll get that one. And I quite like this one as well. Shadow 2. It's got the caterpillar tracks on it. Big dinky sign on the bottom there. This top bit flips over. And you've got a little catch there just to keep it in place. A little bit more paint wear on this one. And missing the missile. 15. Solds again, vary. Does it have the box? Does it have the missile? Ah, let's get it. Let's, let's have a gamble. Let's get it. So that was good fun. To be honest, it was just nice going to a different place and different charity shops. I think one of the reasons I got bored with doing the whole charity shop sourcing before is because I just kept going to the same places. So that's what I want to do more of. Mix it up a little, try new places, see what you can find. And today it paid off. Nice variety of stuff. Nice quantity of stuff and hopefully some nice value when I sell it all on eBay as well. Or in fact, there were a couple of other items that I picked up. I didn't catch them on camera. Check these out. Firstly, I picked up this Zip Up North Face hoodie. What to pay for it. Five quid. Size large. It's got all the tags you expect to see in a North Face hoodie. All in there. Little hologram bit on the back as well. It's only a fiver. I didn't even look up solds. I thought... The brand is going to be enough to carry it. Nice neutral colours. That's going to appeal to someone. Pretty good condition. And to be honest, even if it doesn't sell, it's my size. I can wear that. And then I picked up this Wallace and Gromit alarm clock by Westco. I paid a tenner for it. And in the shop, all they had was the alarm clock itself. They had that. So I was in two minds whether to get it. Took it to the counter and they said, oh, by the way, we've got the box. The box is a bit tatty. Do I still want it? Yep. And also the instructions as well. Now, people have got these listed up for 40 to 50 with the box, but those boxes are in better condition. I just quite liked it. Collectible, nice and nostalgic. They said it worked, but you've always got to test it yourself, haven't you? For a tenner, I thought I'd give it a punt. Oh, and before I show you what's been selling on eBay, I've got to show you these football boots I picked up off of Vinted. They arrived last week and I gave them the first run out on Monday night and it didn't go too well. Look at them now. Here they are here. Look at this. Sole has come off the right one completely. This left one, proper flapping about. They lasted half an hour. This one started to peel off. 10 minutes later, that one started to peel off. Then that come off completely. Not great. Nice pair of boots, but... I mean, whether they've been stuck back on again, I don't know. Whether they're fake, I mean, I don't know. So I'm going to try and go through the process of getting my money back through Vinted. I've not tried that before. I'll let you know how that goes. Let's go through and pick all the Monday sales on eBay. There's the first one up there. This little Westie. It's a Builder Bear. There's the logo on the bottom there. Comes with a pink hoodie. Nice little scarf as well. Promise Pets tag on there. Pick this one up in Bridge End in the charity shop for a couple of quid. That one sold for 15. Next sale is tucked at the bottom there. This is a classic thing you'll find at the bottom of any toy box or in the car box. 50p, pounds, something like that. SpongeBob Square Pants, Hot Wheels, Monster Jam, Monster Trek. That's gone for £10.50. All in. And then I've actually sold. A computer game, a PlayStation 1 game. I keep all my PlayStation 1 games at the back. PS2 games there, PS1 games at the back. That's it there. Rayman 2. Black label. Got the manual. That's gone for 10 quid all in. But then my favourite sale. And I absolutely love this jumper. Have a look at this. Old school 90s Umbro. 
size XL, and but that is a massive XL. Way too big for me. I do have a size large one, which I'm keeping in mind. Little Umbro logo on the side there. Pro training embroidery there, and on the back, another huge Umbro logo. That is Alex Ferguson fashion, isn't it? There, bit of Fergie fashion. That belongs in a Sunday league dugout. I took an offer for this one. It's sold for just over 30 quid, all in. So I've only got three sales to show you from Tuesday and Wednesday. I just haven't been listing anything, so the sales aren't following through. I've just been busy. I did a mud run last weekend. For obviously, football last night. I do need to crack on with a bit more listing, try and boost those sales. But what has sold, they've been pretty decent sales. This is the first one. I tell you what, Global Shipping Program has been paying off. Two of these sales are Global Shipping. Look at this. An old school PlayStation 1, Logic 3 game station. Stick a console in there. Controllers go in those front little boxes there. I used to have one of these back in the day. I was tempted to keep it. I paid three pounds from a charity shop in Caffili for this. Listed it up, priced it so it was one of the lowest. Sold 24.99. I've had this one for a while. It's Pontoon Dusty off of Disney Planes. Diecast plane in there in this little display box. Reasonable condition, although it is starting to bubble a bit, all of the paper in there. Look at that, brand new. That would have been $10. See that on there? And this has gone over to America. Well, I saw that for 20 pounds all in. And with the global shipping fees, they would have paid way more than $10, that's for sure. Now, I had no idea when I saw this, it would be worth so much. It's a Fisher Price Rumpel Bear. The only reason I saw this and picked it up in the charity shop was because my brother had one of these growing up. His was dark brown. That's obviously like a lighter brown. And I texted him as soon as I saw this because the sold listings, up anything up to about a hundred pounds. And that's what I listed this for, 100 pounds. I had an offer pretty much after I listed it for 50 and I was so tempted with it, but I'm glad I held out. That has gone for 80 pounds all in. Keep an eye out, Fisher Price, Rumpel. So yeah, really pleased with that last sale. In fact, that Rumpel paid for my tickets at the football, the beers, and my new football shirt as well. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. With a bit of luck, the weather will be decent this weekend, and I'll have another video off the back of the boot sale. Hopefully catch you then.